The creation of Hertzian telecommunications goes back to the 19th century, way before the start of aviation. It was only years later, in 1903, that the Wright brothers took their first flight, which was followed by the first commercial flight in 1919 and the first commercial flight of a Zeppelin in 1928. The need to communicate with the pilot dates back to the very early stages of aviation. Initially, analog radio was used, and its use gradually developed in aviation. In the 1940s, commercial aircraft started to use HF-VHF for air-ground communications. Air traffic management as we know it today was born in 1944 with the creation of the International Civil Aviation Organization. Between 1950 and 1960, area control centers continued to develop throughout Europe, and the need to ensure voice and data communications for coordination and flight plan exchanges between area control centers increased. HF and VHF were used for air-ground communications, and flight plans were exchanged by telex. In the 1970s, Internet technology started to develop, while the need for air traffic control exchange and ATM communications increased using X25 technology. IP Internet technology was used for exchanging data on flow management. At the same time, the air traffic control and flight plan exchanges continued to use the previous X25 technology. Tomorrow's air traffic management applications will require more interaction between air navigation service providers and aviation stakeholders. Some of the communication technologies will become unable to meet the requirements of the future system developed by CESA. This is why the European Air Navigation Service Providers, together with Eurocontrol, have launched PANS, the Pan-European Network Services. PENS is in line with the single European Sky Regulation and is a key element in the future technical infrastructure of ATM. PENS reflects the vision of a truly pan-European network. It creates a new partnership for the future of ATM in Europe. PENS, connecting the ATM community in Europe.